Hey guys, Ellen Wilbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And today I am here to... Oh, sorry, something weirdly just came, popped up on my phone there. Um, I'm here to hopefully alleviate your boredom, self-isolation, forced isolation, wherever you are in this crazy world at the moment. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope I can give you about... 40 minutes of some distraction and in crafty enjoyment. Um, if you do, if you haven't visited me before um, and you like what you see, please consider subscribing um, if you're watching me on YouTube or liking me uh, if you are watching on Facebook. Today I am here to play with all the dies. All the dies, it's very rare that I do such a die-heavy card, and it's a card that I shared in class two or three weeks ago. Um, so this is the card, and I know I was a bit scared about this lace. It's called um, Lovely Lace, or oh, Stitch Lace. I've put the wrong name in the um, in the description, the stitched lace die, um, but I've come up, I, I've got a way to get out all the holes, which is great. Thank you very much. My mum bought this for me. It's quite nice and it's got, it's like cottony top and it's like floaty, they're quite see-through sleeves. Goodbye, good for our current weather because it's been raining all day. It's been raining on and off all week. So I, the only little stamp I have used is for the hello. Um, I Because this is my leftovers from my class a number of weeks ago, um, I've pre-die cut everything. But I do want to show you with a different colour piece how... Um, to easily get all these tiny little bits out of the stitched lace die. So what I'm going to do, and I'll go through all the dies I have used in the card as I go through. So I'll pop my computer on mute. I will spin you around, say hello to everyone. Matt, I thank you all so much for joining. Uh, let's see. I can't see my video yet. Not helpful. So please tell me that everyone is safe and well while I flick myself around and get rid of all my shadows as I knock things over here, which is not helpful one iota. Right. Sorry. Just you are not late, Cindy. I seriously just started. So don't think you are late. You've just my introduction where I'm telling you what I am using. Sorry here, guys. It's not playing nice. Oh no problems, no problems, Karen. I'm just I'm I'm going to flick this back because I really need I changed this the other day and it's not quite high enough at the moment. Just trying to get it high enough to stay where I want it to and it keeps on sagging. This is going to, and I don't have the finger strength to re-tighten my, oh, that's loosening. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hello, Miss Sylvia. I'm glad you're keeping well. know what it is and I'm just trying to tighten it aha by George I think maybe she's got it oh <laughs> yeah Lachlan's trying to get access to a book that he's meant to be reading because apparently schools 
don't give access to um, books at the moment or oh, for years apparently because apparently children lose books I don't know okay right we've got it I think I think that's as good as we're gonna get sorry girls thank you for bearing with me I change one thing on my stand and um it ruined the whole thing radio radio and we do have miss louisa on the floor she did pop in earlier and um she stayed there so she may toddle off on us but i don't know so this is my box of all my pre-cut die cuts and I've got my little take your pick tool because I will need that. Timeless Tulip stamp set is the stamp set we're going to use. So this is the card I've pre-made a couple. Actually, that's not the good card. That's the dodgy one. Pop that to the side. So this is the card and this... Um, swirly circle in the background is from the painted labels dies and then we have the background which is the stitch lace die and you also get uh, this piece that you can use to make a decorative edge just like that so you can just have a single strip with a decorative edge I've not done that, but the option is there to do that with this die. I will go through and say hi to everyone in a sec. And Poppy Moments is what I used for the leaf and the flowers. So I've used these two for the leaves because they layer perfectly. I've used these two for the flower. And I've used this little winking smiley face for the flower centre. So they are the dies. Now, let me go back before everyone goes too far. So, hey, Renee, I know Deb came in. So, hey, Deb. Hey, Donna, Wendy, Roz, Philomena, Alicia, uh, Linda, Marjean. Was that two Lindas? Two different Lindas. Cindy, Margaret, Karen, Beryl, Roz, Sylvia. Um, Jolizard, please tell me I haven't butchered your name but thank you um margaret chris eileen margie kathy julie 90 cards ready to send people that is amazing welcome miss jamie you haven't missed much so what i'm going to start with is the tip for the video is how I cut this die and get out 90% or 95% really of all these little pieces. Now, I've already pre-cut and weeded all of these ones. So I've got out, I had a scrap in my favorite color, which is um, gorgeous grape. So I thought I would just use this as an example. Now, I know we don't sell the big shot anymore, but it is the die cut machine that I own. So I'm going to talk to you about the sandwich that I use in the big shot. This is the embossing plate. So we don't need that because we're not embossing. So I have the standard big shot platform. I have the thin die adapter because we're using a thin die. I then have the, and this is the precision base plate because that gives you, especially with this kind of die, it gives you a great finished look and it's one of the tricks to getting most of our bits out now I'm just making sure I'm lining this up so I go paper die pop that down and then just your normal clear plate and I'm going to pop that through 
twice. Now I'm not going to use this purple one for the these cards, but I did just want to show you the example of how I weed it. So that is all cut. So the the aim is that the paper stays in the die and at this point I look at it and I'm easily able to see that it has cut through all those holes which is the aim which is why I just run it through twice just in case I'm going to leave this in the die so just let me get rid of my die cut machine now this is where if I had it, it would be here. So when I'm using my take your pick tool, I have found out of all the weeding brushes that I own, this is the best dye brush. I don't know what it is, but it's the best. Hey Sam, thanks for joining Oh, the magnetic plate is so worth it, but unfortunately Stampin' Up! no longer sell it. We will be coming out with our new die cut machine with the new catalogue in June. So keep your eyes peeled. My God, Cindy, you are an absolute machine. Hey, Christy. Okay, so I've left the paper in the die. I've popped it on the piece of foam that comes when you buy the die brush attachment for you take your pick tool. Now, if I was smart, because I've done this before and I've just weeded it through my hands, I will put the protector on so I don't stab myself. Now, with normal pressure, not too heavy handed, not too light, just go over. Now, this is sort of why the die brushes were actually invented to get all these little bits out of your dies because if the little bits stay in your dies you don't get effective cuts so this is the die brush is actually for the die rather than necessarily being for the paper so I'm just going over this I can see where they are now if you've got some stubborn ones you can go over in a different direction I'm not being particularly, as I said, like I'm not bearing down on it. I'm just letting the brush do its work. So I'm pretty happy with that. And as I lift this, you can see exactly how much I have got out just like that. So I'm going to tap that. Oh, they all went everywhere. Tap that into my bin. And this was my life a couple of weeks ago. I had the crushed curry ones all over my, my floor. So now I need my paper piercing tool just to pick up the edge. And in the action of pulling this off, you also release a few more. So I did release a few more and as you can see all the pieces are out of the die which is fantastic. So I will get all my bits off my magnet, stick that back on. Of course I'm going to have purple confetti in my room for days. So without me doing any additional weeding you can see. I've got rid of about 95% of those pieces. So now what I want to just quickly do is, and I will make this into a card, so never fear, there will be a card that comes of this. And I just wish I had have started using this die earlier. I do hope they carry this die over into the new catalog so a lot of these are already partially dislodged they are all definitely cut and if not every single one of them comes out i'm not particularly worried but i just want to try i've already got majority and i'll give 
these ones are red hot go but who wants to sit here and poke oh, I told you I'm gonna create confetti everywhere who wants to go through and poke all of these out certainly not me which is why I was so glad I found my little little technique and then I just rub across the back use my one remaining nail I'm so sad that my nails are gonna have to go back to normal but it is all for the good of our health and not spreading this insidious coronavirus so okay I'm going to leave that there I am just going to get all these bits away and I cheated when I put down my new mat I just put that one over the last one <laughs> I haven't even properly cleaned my desk Well, Jamie, I will be putting in an order in probably the next couple of days so I can happily grab that. Now, let me go back. Ah, you did use the dye brush, didn't you? I'd forgotten you'd used it. I am really well, thank you, Karen. Sorry, I'll bring this back in. Hello, Miss Rose. Yeah, and if I had gone, so with this dye brush, had I have gone over it with the paper, it curls the paper and it just doesn't work as well. So I certainly found it a lot more beneficial doing it through the dye. I don't know what it is. No, 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 they're just going in the bin. Oh, yeah, I, I've... I've had some skin irritations, so I've been using lots and lots of moisturiser and it has affected my nails. And these are the only three nails that haven't died and I'm holding on to this one. But that's okay, it's all for the health of everyone and I am totally down for that. Okay, so now that I've shown you the fun part, I'm going to pop that aside now, as I said, definitely going to use this in a project but in the meantime I have one two three four already made and I have my four card bases so I'm going to pop those to the side just going to bring in the popping moments again and share with you all these pieces so I have flirty flamingo and one two three and four and if I can grab them with my no nails that's the hardest thing me grabbing things I didn't believe how much my nails helped my hands um, yeah yeah well mine pretty much are back to nothing but they keep on cracking and doing all fun things so these two dies is what i've used for the base of this flower so let's just pop these together so i'm going to do it in stages and then i'm going to do assembly so i have sorry i had a phone call right had a phone call I do apologize so as I was saying I'm going to batch put all of these together and just make sure I line them up first cause lining them up once you've got the glue on it can be a little difficult whoops Ah, geez Louise. Yeah, I know, Kathy. It's, I think I let go of my nails maybe when I was pregnant with Owen, who is 14 and a half. So, yeah, I'm first time I've let go of my nails, and as I've said to you guys many many times 
my nails my actual natural nails break below the white so I do have a couple of painful nail beds at the moment but as I said I totally live with it I did have to go to a big shopping center today to go to two shops and I went into those two shops got the things I needed and walked out but oh my god the amount of sales that people are having I totally splurged on myself but I did not want to put myself at any further risk than what I am so yeah it's like But, and there was no one. Oh, exactly, Jamie. And look, David will be happy that I'm saving some money. He always bitches and whinges. Oh, sorry. Oh, see, the real Ellen just came out for a second. He always makes comment when I'm having that appointment. Sorry, just getting rid of my glue from another project. Okay. So, I have... So these background pieces are from oh, are from the painted label set. Now the painted labels and the uh, poppy moments they're from the holiday. No, they are from the uh, January to June mini catalog and are part of the poppy suite. So I am just going to go through because it was the next thing in my basket here so I'm just going to go through and pop these out I could use I probably should Right. Sorry. Uh, helps if... Oh, my dear word. I'm making things so much harder for myself. I can hear you all going, Ellen, just make it easy on yourself. So, just these aren't quite... Um, do you know what? Those pieces don't want to come out. So, what I'll do, I'll layer the flower over those pieces there I know I did some dodgy cutting and no I'm not sick I just have a frog in my throat I'll have a drink and I'll be fine in a second oh I have one extra one extra oh that will go really nice with my purple card my purple card base so that's four I'll weed this one and I'll put it with that. I, I'm already getting ideas about this other card. So I'll probably share that with you early next week. So I'll pop, have a look at how. And this is pool party. So the pool party and the gorgeous grape go really well together. All the ideas are happening, guys. I love it when this happens. Okay. Next, I am going to try and grab these little flower centers out. And do you know what? I have my other take my pick tool with my glue goober, as I call it. On the end one and I should use it more often now I don't have nails so <laughs> I do actually have two tools because I even though they're interchangeable um, I don't have time for that okay keep it simple that's right our, mall, our malls aren't closed, but a lot of businesses in the, you call them malls, we call them shopping centres, you know, potato, potato. Um, a lot of businesses had chosen to close, even though we have some businesses that have been mandated to close. 
um, but even businesses that weren't on that list had certainly closed already uh, for the safety of their workers. And that phone call I got before was actually from my other job. So I dare say they've made some decisions and we will see what happens. So just sticking these flower centres on. There is no dimension on this card because it already is so layered that it doesn't require any additional dimension as such. Um, I think that'd just be a touch of overkill personally. And the flower centre, I'm just whacking it on. I'm not actually particularly worried about how it is going on it's just going on i know me too me too we call them that too oh okay cool cool eileen fantastic more shopping centers we all know what we're talking about we're a global community so um these so my original card that I designed, which is long given away, I did these base leaves in Old Olive. So for this card, I went, oh, I'm going to go a bit fancy. And I grabbed out the Noble Peacock foil sheets. So these come in blueberry bushel so they come in a pack and you get the old olive pretty peacock and blueberry bushel and i've seriously used all the blueberry bushel and i only have two full sheets left so i've used these colored foil sheets very well which i'm happy about and then i'm going to put the accent leaf which is in mossy meadow over the top now i'm going to play smart and grab my silicon mat here so I don't get glue everywhere just going to grab these four out and then that's another basket emptied and ready to use again <laughs> I use them for a Christmas card I think I think it was one of the Christmas Stampathon cards. Now, if you your girls send a lot of Christmas cards, just while I'm using a tiny touch of glue on these, if you make a lot of Christmas cards, the Christmas Stampathon challenge was released yesterday, and I am one of the designers in that group, myself and another demo from the UK, Esther. My hands aren't playing. Right. Hold it down. Put it down and then wiggle. Right. Come on. So you can see here, it just covers half of the leaf. And if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter because what is a girl's handmade, not hallmark. Oh. Except that one's really annoying me. And just do a touch of zhuzhing. Oh, for God's sakes. Sorry for all my cursing today. Apparently my tolerance level is low. Hmm. Okay. Have a drink. Have a reset. Keep going. So just a small amount of glue. We just want to tack it on. Nothing fancy smancy. Just enough to have it stick. And this is the bit I... This is the hardest bit for me because it's, look, it's a little fiddly, but you get a great result. So I'm willing to deal with the fiddling. Okay, that one was a little easier. 
don't know why just was two more to go and then I just need to stamp our sentiment and assemble and uh, you're okay no judging thank you for the no judging um so I did um just sit down watch I don't know what I was watching at the time probably Netflix um and I just sat and cut all these out so if you want to make like multiples of these kinds of cards batch do it like do all your die cutting at once and I was able to fit a couple of dies on the um on the plate at the same time and that did oh, see that wait that's better the actual foil was a bit um was a bit bent okay it's gonna stay as is give it some pressure oh that's really off doesn't matter leave it handmade handmade i do have to say that to myself all the time and jamie attests to it when we've crafted together she goes it's handmade ellen leave it alone but i try to get things so perfect well as perfect as i can it's a very hard thing to train out of yourself, I say. Okay. So, like, with making these cards, I'm going through and doing all the preparation first. And then we will go in and do the assembly. So, preparation, then assembly. Oh, crap. Right. Just tack and stay. That's all I ask. And talking to your craft supplies always helps. Always, always, always. Okay, so we have we have our car bases and backgrounds done. We have our leaves done. We have our swirlies and flowers done. And now I just want to, I'm just going to tack that back on, but not. Um, put it all the way up okay pop that to the side stamping so timeless tulips I have literally just used the hello that's all I've used very simple I wanted to keep it simple and let the flowers sing as such okay little block don't need a big block it's very rare I use these little blocks and the color I have used is poppy parade oh we are so our worst critics exactly exactly Jamie no one would say hey I don't like that car because Ellen hasn't done it perfectly no one's going to say that I am my hope is that people appreciate the time I've put in to make them a handmade card and the fact that I think they're special enough to receive it so I need four of these so this is just normal whisper white cardstock and I'm just using my scraps. So this is probably, I know I tell you I don't keep a lot of scraps. This is probably as wide as I keep of my scraps. Any thinner than this and they just go in the bin. Now I'm purposely stamping the hello off to the side because as you can see I've tucked most of the punched shape under the flower oh fantastic cindy i've got a customer who everything she makes she donates she does many different crafts and she has multiple craft rooms i'm totally jealous she does come in and watch the replays so she knows I'm talking about her and she makes stuff for guide dogs. She makes stuff for um, 
trips overseas and those ones need to have no glitter um yeah she's just amazing so this is the classic label punch and i'm just now going to punch these out so i just want to put the hello at one end and punch it out so this so what i do once this is now a scrap i'll keep i rip off the bit that's the scrap and that's ready to pop back in my whisper white uh, paper pack and paper sleeve. Couldn't think of a word. Okay, two. Oh, did I only stamp three? I need to stamp another one because I'm a bit special. Why didn't someone tell me? Oh, but can I say, Linda, you just want the swirl. I can tell you now, I haven't used these leaves, but they're very useful. These labels, they don't just, I'll hold them up higher. They don't just don't Im cut. They cut and emboss. They are stunning. Let me see if I can find a cut quickly that I have done using that die. Sorry, just bear with me a second here. So if you can have a look at this, the Whisper White, it does have a debossed edge to it. So yeah, I think the detail in those uh, label dies and this one this one's great as a little label and put a sentiment or something over it or like this to tuck one of the smaller flowers over so that there's some detail behind it but this little bit is a great lacy detail great 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 die set Oh, welcome, Myrtle. Thank you. I'm so glad you found me. Now, I'm going to have to open that ink pad again and stamp another hello because Ellen can't count. So that's one, two, three, and I definitely need four. Okay. Another one. One more for the dummies. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I've got cardstock with my last order. I got, I topped up. Like, I normally only have to buy one or two packs at a time. Because as I see I'm getting low, I just grab it. Because I know, not that I'm doing classes at the moment, um... When I do do classes, I need multiples. And if I'm making, like, mass producing a card, I always want to know I have enough cardstock on hand to make five, six, ten, or whatever of one card and just not have to think about the colours that I want to use and just use the colours I want. So, yeah. Ooh, that doesn't matter, Margie. Six items, awesome. Hey, Jenny. Okay, fair enough, Jamie, fair enough. Just keep a little list and we can deal with it later on. Okay, now, to assemble these, what I'm going to... I've refilled my snail, if anyone's watched my video on YouTube from yesterday... You know, I ran out of snail mid-video. Such fun, fun times. Fun times. So, I am going to grab a leaf, pop it where I want, and then grab my sentiment. Now, this I am just going to pop a dot of glue on the end. That will do. I will leave this open and out now because I'm going to use it a bit more. And what I do, I just find it easy to leave things like this and then just to 
wind them, wind them up if it wants to wind up. So that's going to sit like that on the card. So that looks really nice. I'm happy with that. And then I can also stick this. So this is a bit where the bits didn't cut properly. Now I didn't use, um, I'm using wet glue on the foil, but it's on parts that are behind the flower. Otherwise you will see the foil buckle. Oh, I want to cover up this bit, which means it needs to go on. Oh no, I was right. I was absolutely right. So as you can see, that just creates a really nice background for the flower and doesn't take up a lot of visual space. You could also use vellum if you wanted it lighter again. <laughs> okay, I was trying to be nice, Jamie. We just won't tell Gus how big the list is. How about that? We'll be nice. We'll spare him. Okay. Right. That there. Put this down. Yeah, uh, uh, I put it on there. No, I can. Okay. This one, I might just make it go the other way because that's really the right side oh that's going to stuff up my hello isn't it we'll just have it i see that as upside down but tell me what you think whether that's upside down or right way up i know kind of hurts my brain oh no that is so sad so sad that's devastating jamie absolutely Okay, bring in one of these so I'm going with my mass producing again and I'm just actually going to put the glue on that to make it even easier and I still think it's upside down but anyway we'll live oh exactly Jamie exactly but i still want to inspire you and if you want to or can i want to give you girls the opportunity to purchase i just want to know i'm here either way i'm not going to not love anyone just because you won't or can't buy craft supplies off me um that is not the be all and end all but i'd like if it works for you to be able to watch me or create to relieve some stress in your life because it's all about distraction and just getting what needs to be done done i've got um i've got lachlan at home working uh doing e-learning i've got david as normal um working from home and Owen has chosen at this point to stay at school because he requires additional support. Um, so I am supporting him oh, in his choice to go to school at this point. It may not be that next week, but for the moment he's felt very supported with all the all the um, changes and to his routine he hasn't quite coped fantastically so that worked for him and I was um, I was more than happy to support him in that decision so but what they're learning at school is exactly what they're doing at home so no one's advantaged or disadvantaged it's just yeah and karate is um karate is online as you know my kids are 
been doing I've been doing I shouldn't say I we have been a karate family for 10 years at the same school so we celebrated that about a month ago which was really exciting so yeah okay last one and pop that on the base and then we are up to the second last step so these came together really well because of all the pre preparation and i love that these colors really shouldn't work together but they absolutely do so we've got poppy parade crush curry floaty flamingo um calypso coral old olive mossy meadow and pool party and they just work so well together you cannot really go wrong with the stampin up color palette Ah, no, we're not there yet, Sylvia. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, yeah. But thankfully we're, um, I don't know how, but it isn't in our school. So it was in a couple of schools in Sydney, but somehow we have escaped that on the central coast which is fantastic so just to glue this I'm just grabbing a few of the wider spaces uh, with glue and seeing how that sticks down uh, now it helps if I'm going to make a right way round card now, as you can probably see, I can see I've got one little dot there, but I'm not worrying about it. Yeah. Go. Thank you. And I'm just going to just give some nice even pressure, just all rubbing, just to make sure those spots take with the glue. Not that it's going to be perfect. And then bring in one of our flowers. Be quite generous. Well, not generous, but sort of get glue in all the cardstock places that we can. Now I... Oh, no, that took. And then we just pop this like so. And that's one card done. So you can see we've got the leaf is floaty and so is this uh, line detail of the flower as well as our um, swirly label. So you've got some dimension, but it's just we haven't used dimensionals, if that makes sense. Um... Has SU not given guidance as yet? Hey, Rose. Sorry, I missed you coming in. Okay. Our cards look great. Thank you, Myrtle. Um, what did I miss? I wish someone would tell me about dog social... Di uh, dogs are fine. I'm scrolling back because it seems as though I have missed a comment. What... What... Um, no, I wouldn't have. If, I don't know why I picked it, Jamie. I don't know why I picked the Poppy Parade, but I agree, it looks amazing. Um, we aren't in lockdown. If people continue, yes, exactly. Um, I am a demo, and there doesn't appear to be an answer yet. Day one in lockdown. Um, Sorry, Sylvia, I'm trying, as a demo, there doesn't appear to be an answer yet. Um, sorry, Sylvia, I'm trying to scroll back and find your comment. I'm not sure whether to, oh, I don't know about orders. Do you know what I do? Hey, Jenny, oh my God, Jenny. I won't ask what time it is. It does match the flower centre perfectly. Um... 
Sylvia, I would give DS a call. Um, DS is still open in Sydney or someone's available. Um, or send them an email to see if orders are getting through because I don't know what uh, Jacinta, your Prime Minister, decided in the way of freight getting through whilst you guys are in lockdown. So give DS a call, they'll be able to tell you. I um I don't think I've checked the website this morning to see if there are any uh, specific updates. But I'd say if any of my demo friends have concerns, just give DS a call. That's nearly 2 a.m. Can't you sleep tonight, Jen? Sorry, just giving this a few seconds to tack on. Grab one of these. I'm just finishing up. I did show a really cool tip about how to get 95, 90 to 95% of all the little bits out of your die at the very start of the video, Jenny, if you want to go back and watch that um, on the replay. We can still order. Yes, you can still order from me. Absolutely, Lorraine. Lorraine, I was talking about you earlier. Were you in here? Yes, you can absolutely still, but Sylvia is in New Zealand and she is a demo, so I'm just not sure about the New Zealand uh, rules with the government over there. But certainly something, check with your demo or ring, if you're a demo, ring demonstrator support. Because that's what they're there for and I'm sure they'd like us to chat with them to keep them a bit busy and not worrying about everything going on as such. Okay. Almost there. I've got to make sure I'm not making backwards cards. I've got a really bad habit of doing that at the moment. There. Jenny, you've got to keep up with the comments, honey. Got to keep up with the comments. You're slipping at the moment, Jenny. This is totally unlike you. <laughs> I'm kidding, Jenny. It's all good. Okay. Pop that on. Hold this down for a sec. Ah, oh, fantastic, Jenny. I, I did wonder, so that's great. And hopefully they're taking all the hygiene uh, precautions that they can. Okay, and lucky last. So I hope, I hope I've made you see these dies in a different light today. Um, and I've given you some ideas about how you can put it together. Um, maybe a colour combination that you'd like to try because... I've been a bit out there today with these colours. So maybe I've given you some inspiration for a card that you can make. Uh, if you're sharing your stuff on Facebook, tag me. I'd love to see what you're making. Or send me a message. Another back, row, back to front card. Okay. That one's a bit too high, but you know. Hey, mate. Oh, I just got out of bed. Oh, I know. I know. I tell you, Jamie, I'm halfway through watching a... Um, it's a Zoom meeting hangout that is on YouTube that was live. It's actually really good. So I'm halfway through watching that, and then I went, oh, it's time for me to get on. So I quickly... Changed all my devices around so I could come on here with you guys. There you go. It's one o'clock. I've been here about an hour. Make something of that chart. What chart? Hmm. 
Okay. And so the only thing I'm making sure is the hello is straight. Okay. So go through my colours again. I have used Poppy Parade, Floaty Flamingo, uh, sorry, Poppy Parade, um, Crush Curry, Floaty Flamingo, Calypso Coral, Pool Party, Old Olive, Mossy Meadow. That's what I've used to make these. I've made multiple. Look, have a look how many I've got here. I've got two, four, I've got six because I have my dodgy brother's one that was over here because the leaves weren't cut right. So I've got six of these babies, which is great. I look forward to getting them out in mail. So a recap of the dyes we've used. I've used this swirly background, outer painted labels in the January to June mini catalog. I've used poppy moments dyes for the flowers and the leaves. And I have used, and that is also in the January to June mini catalogue. And I have used Stitch Lace. Now this is out of the main catalogue. And I have used all my take, take your pick tools. And I also use a classic label punch. So I really hope you enjoyed oh lovely lovely yeah the color combo ideas ideas using uh your dies especially with grabbing out your detail dies and using your dye brush give it a try because it's not as scary to get out all those little bits as you think it is thank you thank you for joining me i um probably won't be back till next week i'm not sure have an appointment tomorrow, doing a team live on Sunday. Go spend some time with the fam. So, yeah, all oh, my pleasure. Happy to entertain you. Now I now I want to break out with Robbie Williams. <laughs> but I shall not. I shall just imagine him in my head. Thank you very much, Donna. Thanks, Marjean. I'm glad you all enjoyed. I'm glad you could come and hang out with me. I do love that you do that. Please know that I appreciate the time you guys take out of your day and week to hang out with me. So have a wonderful couple of days and I'll catch you very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. You guys stay safe as well. Bye.